<laughs> Hello everyone, we are here for another Surface Psycho tutorial and in this one I will present you how to use the continuity analysis modifier. So why is this modifier useful? You will understand shortly as I am doing a quick setup here. As you can see I am making a patch which is trimmed and it has this curved trimmed edge which is not aligned with the UV of the surface, with the natural boundary of the surface. So now if you want to connect another patch to this edge and get curvature continuity, the exact solution has extremely high degree and is impractical. So in practice, you typically use a solver instead and you find an approximate solution within some tolerances. However, Surface Psycho doesn't have a solver currently because it is complex and there are higher priority for the project right now. So the idea is to use the continuity analysis modifier for you to play the solver yourself, like, like converge instead of making the solver converge. So I am connecting the, the, the second patch here with continuity G0 with the usual connect Bezier patch modifier. And if you try to go beyond this continuity G0, this will fail. And this is why you need to manually make it with the continuity analysis modifier. So you want to add the continuity analysis modifier on the patch you will not edit to keep the real time display of the analysis. As soon as you add a target uh, to your continuity analysis modifier, since both patch are referencing each other, you will end up in dependency cycle and geometry nodes will not evaluate your modifiers. So to fix this issue, it's very simple. You have to duplicate your connect Bezier patch modifier and apply the first copy and remove the target of the second one. And that way you remove this dependency cycle. Sadly, if you just disable the modifier, it will not be sufficient. The um, continuity analysis modifier should be after the measure modifiers. And as you can see, you have several plots to enable or disable for the different levels of continuity. And you want to make sure to enable them one by one. So we are starting with the G1 error plot, which as you can see, displays the, those little combs. And uh, you want to minimize their height so it falls under a tolerance. So you can adjust the scale of the plot and you will see this horizontal line that actually displays the tolerance. Here it is set up to 0.1 degree of deviation, of angular deviation, and this is quite sufficient to achieve good reflection and this is not e extremely hard to achieve, especially if you have enough control geometry. Here, as you can see, we have quite a few control points to, to adjust. You can move them around and slowly start to, to minimize the angular deviation. And as you can see, we can really quite easily get this G1 continuity, which is basically matching the normal at the edges of the two patches. And here I just speed up the, the second try because I, I forgot to align the, the boundary and I have to redo the, the edge. This is really simple. And the nice thing with G1 continuity is that you can uh, move along uh, the, the, the first row of, of control points and it will always stay the same relative to G1 uh, accuracy. And like that, you can adjust the tension of the surface. For G2 continuity, you have another graph. Uh, here, as you can see, um, you have some of the info of the graph, which is under the surface and not above. And you have to minimize what looks here like dots, but it's actually some kind of butterflies which compare the principal curvatures in uh, the two principal directions. And on top, you have also this uh, curve, which you have also to minimize to, to match the principal curvature. 
So uh, let's see if it actually worked. L let's change the matcap to something which is useful to plot curvatures to see uh, matching uh, reflection and increase the resolution of both patches. And then what you can do is actually uh, enable high quality normals in EV. You have to be in EV to find the feature, the checkbox. And as you can see, it's not perfect, but we are getting there. So we, we can still improve that. Uh, actually pretty good here. So let's see. Uh, I think I put the third row of control points too close to the second one. So I will redo it quickly to make the tension a bit stronger. L let me fast forward this part. So le let's finish uh, the adjustment really fast. So I think we are pretty good. Uh, you can always play more, but as you can see, uh, you will still find a little discontinuity at the edge of both. And it's actually not an error from uh, Surface Psycho. It's an error from the, the way normal are displayed. So in 4.5, there will be a fix. But in 4.4, what you want to do is use, uh, and it will only work in shading mode, and to fix that, actually, what you need to do is to add to your material setup a very nice node, which is called SP Exact Normals. And what it does, it is actually uh, uses normals calculated from the modifiers. And uh, for this, you also have to enable in both patch exact normals for it to apply. And as you will see quickly, the reflection error is unnoticeable. And this is done. The, the reflection match perfectly. And uh, I hope you find this tutorial interesting. Before leaving you, I will show you my donation page.